my name is Dr. Brian Dorner. I'm a board certified plastic surgeon here in Columbus, Ohio. I've done a full year of a cosmetic fellowship that really focuses on facelifting. So what I want to do today is talk about what I've learned, talk about what a good facelift is, and talk about how you can compare it to some of the other facelifts that you may have seen on TV. Some of the really heavily publicized branded facelifts that are seen all over the media today. The first thing that always comes to my mind when you're looking at something like that is to just scratch your head and go, boy, if it sounds too good to be true, is it? And I think that should be the first test with anything. When you look at a facelift, there are very, very different ways to perform them. It goes all the way from just taking a little simple pinch of skin out all the way down to what's called in the facelift I do, and forgive the jargon, but it's a smash face, multi beckered face and neck lift. And basically what that means for my technique is that instead of just relying on the skin and a few sutures, I go much deeper into the face, I lift up the structures that actually cause aging, put them back where they belong so that your deep face is now back where it was 10, 20 years ago. And then it takes the skin with it so you don't get that really funny windswept look or that really tight look that gives away a bad facelift. And that really is the center point to what makes a good facelift. For me personally, I get very frustrated by seeing what I feel is exaggerated expectations on some of these other types of facelifts that do not rely on good technique. The physician I worked with in San Francisco had spent 30 years designing the world's best facelift. And I tell you, some of those quicker marketed facelifts out there were poor facelifts that we performed 20 years ago and nothing has changed with them. It's just that they have been given a new glossing of pretty presentation and advertising materials. That type of facelift has been around for a long time and over the last 20 years doing all this work to achieve a very natural, very long lasting, powerful facelift uh, seems to be overshadowed by marketing blitz. So when you're looking for a facelift make sure you talk to the physician, make sure you're told exactly what the plan is, exactly what is going to be done, and see if that makes sense to you. Some patients may not want to undergo the full, you know, smash based multi-vectored facelift. However, in those situations, I don't think it makes sense to undergo surgery to get a very modest, short-lived result. One of the tests you can do for some of these highly marketed facelifts is just get on some of the blogs and you'll find there's a lot of dissatisfaction, a lot of short-term results, and a lot of patients who felt they were oversold what they received. In my office, most patients feel like they look 10, 20 years younger. One of my favorite comments was a patient came in after having a facelift. She was actually upset at me because she felt she looked too young. and it's kind of a mixed sword there but I thought that was a very good compliment on my side because most patients don't feel like they could ever look too young so just do your homework I'd be happy to talk to you uh, I love doing a facelift I think it's one of the most interesting most artistic procedures that can be done today in plastic surgery but you want to make sure you pick the right surgeon because at the end of the day that is the most important aspect and a lot of the glitzy names a lot of the glitzy advertised results really are not realistic in most patients.